middle between good and evil? Good means a lack of self-centeredness. It means the ability to empathize with other people, to feel compassion for them, and to put their needs before your own. It means, if necessary, sacrificing your own well-being for the sake of others. It means benevolence, altruism, and selflessness, and self-sacrifice towards a greater cause all qualities which stem from a sense of empathy. It means being able to see beyond the superficial difference of race, gender, or nationality and relate to a common human essence beneath them. Evil people are those who are unable to empathize with others. As a result, their own needs and desires are of paramount importance. They are selfish, self-absorbed, and narcissistic. In fact, other people only have value for them to the extent that they can help them satisfy their own desires or be exploited. The real difference between this idea of good and evil and the traditional concept is that empathy or a lack of empathy aren't fixed. What can exist in the middle is the effect of a human being's actions. Actions in themselves are evil or good, there is no third thing in between. However, actions can be a positive amount of evil or a positive amount of good. In other words, doing something evil can sometimes be correct and achieve a good outcome. It does not change the fact that it is evil but rather means that sometimes, the righteous thing to do is the evil thing and not the good thing. Good and evil are always absolutes, and you cannot have an action in which is both good and evil at the same time. However, sometimes doing the evil thing is what achieves a good outcome, and sometimes it is correct to do the good thing. There is no middle thing in between good and evil. An action can never be good and evil at the same time. Life needs a balance of both. It's a balance.